Welcome to April 2019. This year I wanted to do April shower, bring May flowers kind of theme, so I went with a little bit of a spin-off and chose the episode of Winnie the Pooh when it's raining in the hundred acre woods and flooding everywhere. I thought it was a cute idea because everyone looks adorable in their rain outfits and their nice colorful umbrellas really brighten everything up. To start out, I'm outlining each character. On this page we have Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh and I'm outlining over some already drawn in pencil lines to make sure that I don't mess up while filming this bit. But I'm going to go back in with colored pencils in a moment to give it kind of that illustrated classic look of Winnie the Pooh in the books we all know and love. On the next page we have Winnie the Pooh and all of his friends huddled under an umbrella from the storm. Eeyore in this picture looks so pathetic and then Tigger is stereotypically just happy-go-lucky and I love how Piglet is just so inquisitive even though everybody's kind of miserable under this umbrella. On Eeyore, I added some little rain splashes to kind of add to the little bit of misery he has because it's always just raining on him and around them is kind of the flooding everywhere of the hundred acre wood. After I outlined everything, I went back in with colored pencils to give everything that watercolor illustrated look that you see in the picture books. The colored pencils I'm using now are the Stedler Ergosoft pencils that are triangular in shape and they're nice because they're soft so you don't have to press down really hard to get a lot of pigment on the page but I did find that they do actually erase fairly cleanly in case you do make a mistake. I find mixing up mediums every so often makes the look of your bullet journal look just a little different and allows you to express your creativity a little bit more. I did mix some markers in at the end of the month's spread, but I like how the marker and the colored pencil give it a different look. I also do like the colored pencils because it helps keep the colors for at least this situation closer to the true colors that you are seeing in the coloring books and the picture books instead of having some really bright harsh marker colors.
above my drawings, I just doodled in some clouds and colored in the bottoms of them so they look like rain clouds. And in the clouds, I'll add just simple text in April to kind of finish off the cover page of the month. On the next page, I started my calendar page for the month, and I used 8 blocks high by 8 blocks wide, just in case anybody else has a B5 journal and wants to use those measurements. I kept it simple and just used a grid because I am decorating above and kind of behind the calendar grid and I did have a very intensive cover page. I'm just using a blue Tombow pen to make little raindrops in each box so that I can then go back and write in the number in each raindrop to let me keep track of each day. In the space on the bottom, I had to add a quote because what is a rainy themed spread without Christopher Robin's tut tut, it looks like rain, in which I added an umbrella next to it to complete it. Around my calendar grid, I sketched out first with my fine liner, and I'm trying to approximate the Winnie the Pooh tree, and there will be a big knot where the beehive is. Nothing's more quintessential Winnie the Pooh than the big tree and the beehive that he's striving to steal the honey from in each episode. After the calendar page, we get to our tracker pages. I went back to my usual circle theme for this month. It's really easy to just use a compass and pencil in those circles and then just go over those with my pen. I'm not super worried about them being completely perfect, so I just kind of doodle over them real quick to get those circles and they end up looking a little bit better even if you mess up when you fill them in because there's a little bit of variation in the pattern and I just went in and labeled each circle and then drew the lines in for each day and at the bottom you can tell that I messed up but you can always just fill it in with a marker or um, put some washi tape over it to kind of hide any kind of mistakes just add a little decoration Here's actually where I made the mistake and put a couple too many lines, so I just filled it in with my Tombow brush pen, and you can, looks like I did it on purpose. I then uh, just do a, a little um, smiley face and sleepy face for morning and night in my two trackers at the bottom. The faces just made it look cute and kind of blend in with that cute Winnie the Pooh theme of the month. This next page is my newer tracker, the workout tracker. So I simplified it this month and just did a couple sections instead of trying to break it down by group because this way I have more room to write out what I've done. 
The blur you see here is my gratitude tracker. It's going to look a lot like last month's but have a little doodle of Eeyore at the bottom with his rain cloud on top of him. And I wanted to do the gratitude tracker again in a different way because it did inspire me during the month to um, make my day better. So this one was turn raindrops into sunshine with and then I'll add something that I did that made my day brighter each day. Anything from calling my friends or taking a walk or enjoying the sunshine, just something to keep me present in the day and appreciate every second. I like having the gratitude tracker right next to my mood tracker because being grateful for something really helps you frame the day at the beginning to have a good mood during the day. So we see a lot more happy colored filled in items than sad colors. And for this month I just did a riff on the raindrops and the umbrellas and just doodled in some umbrellas and raindrops so that there's a variety of things to color in. And I did open umbrellas and closed umbrellas just to mix it up a little bit. Going into the weekly trackers, I used the same umbrella and raindrops theme to kind of tie it in with the rest of the month and introduce brighter colors with my Crayola Super Tip markers to add a little bit more flair and make the days much brighter and blend in with the markers that I'll be using for my mood tracker. These doodles did turn out a little Dr. Seussy, but I did really like how they looked in the end because they're nice and fun and bright and I can just write in what I need to underneath the umbrellas and next to the raindrops so it's a very easy spread to do if you don't have much time to fill in an elaborate spread for the week. And again, this is going to be two weeks on one spread because I don't find that I'm having enough things to fill up a whole page so I've got more room to um, do thought pages or another tracker of sorts if I decide that I'd like to add one to my journal over the year. I went into the front of my book and added my Winnie the Pooh theme with just a little picture of Pooh and an umbrella to tie in the month to our beginning page. I already had weather related doodles on March so I tried to just keep it simple with the umbrellas for April so that it was different but still kind of weather related to March. And here's the final flip through of April 2019's spread. <laughs> 